Hello and welcome back to September 23 and to my head teacher's vlog. It's lovely to see these two young men again, um, looking very well and healthy after the summer. And, and I believe they've got some questions for me. Yes. So how were the Year 11 result results? So I was stunned by the Year 11 results. They were genuinely amazing. So if we think back to 2019, which was the last year group that did exams before the, before the pandemic, uh, and the last kind of real proper normal set of exams as it were our year 11s this year actually got better results than the year 11s in 2019 so despite all this disruption um, they still did better than the students in 2019 which is fantastic and a real testament to their hard work but also to the hard work of all the staff in the school and we're very very proud of them so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, this pouch here the yondel pouch that i've uh, got here so we are really, really pleased to be the first school in Cornwall um, to bring this initiative in. There are other schools in the country that, that are, are using these um, and there are actually a number of pop stars and comedians that are also using them for their concerts and their shows. Um, and this is our um, response to some of the issues that we know exist around mobile phone use. Um, and around the addictive nature of phones. They're designed to be addictive, we know that. Um, and us really saying that school should be a place where you can focus on education um, and where you can be children, frankly. Um, so these are really, really simple. So if you want to demonstrate it, um, so in the morning you'll come in, you'll put your phone in it, it just clips shut, really, really simple. Um, it remains with the student all day, turned off or in airplane mode, so we don't take the phones off them, they keep them. And then at the end of the day, hopefully this is going to work, they just come up to this, and they just open their pouch at the end hey, of the day. Hey, there we go. That's perfect. Um, and then they can get on buses or head home in the normal way. There are lots and lots of unlock unlocking stations, um, so there shouldn't be any delay getting on the buses, and, and we'll make sure that everyone's done before the buses leave anyway. So we've always had a no phone policy in school, um, but we understand that, that it's very hard for young people, it's hard for adults, to, if they've got their phones with them, not to want to look at them, not to want to mm. interact with them. Um, so in this way, we're just taking that distraction away. So really, really excited about it. Is there anything else new this term? So we've got quite a lot of changes this term. We've got a whole new building for a start, which is fantastic. Um, it's not quite finished yet, wasn't due to be. And we were hoping to have, or we were, were promised two classrooms ready for September. There are actually three classrooms ready for September, which is great. It was fantastic. It's always fantastic. First day back, I love seeing all the year, New Year 7s uh, arriving for their, for their time in school and for the, their, their next five years of their lives, you know, being, being here and growing here. Um, so there's that, we've got some new staff as well, so we've got two new deputy heads that we talked about last term um, and a new assistant head, so a new safeguarding lead. Um, so with all of that kind of happening, it feels like there's loads going on, but it's actually a really exciting time to be part of the school. Um, I hope you kind of feel that as well, yeah. um, but it, it's, been a, it's been a fantastic first day, I've really enjoyed myself. Well, uh, thank you for spending time to talk with us. We look forward to seeing you again next week, and I'm sure everyone does as well. And I guess that leaves one more thing for us to say. Have, Have a great weekend. weekend.